So the OnePlus Watch 2 has finally made its way here into the office. Huge thanks and shout out to OnePlus for actually sending this out for us to take a look at here on the channel. I know me personally, I've been really wanting to check out the OnePlus Watch 2. I finally get the chance to do that. Again, huge thanks to OnePlus. And I know a lot of you have actually been asking in other OnePlus videos if I'm ever gonna show this watch here on the channel. So as you can see, we finally got it in hand. I am ready to unbox it, give you guys my first impressions in this video. And then of course, in a separate video, just give you guys my full review after I have used it for some time. And if there's any questions that you guys may have, that you want me to cover in that full review, just drop them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer those questions in that full review. And then maybe I'll have some other separate videos coming as well. But enough rambling on, let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see what this watch is all about. Here we go, here we go. As you can see, I got my OnePlus 12 up there because that is what I'm going to be pairing this watch with once I get it up and going. And there is plastic all around the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the top up there and then we can rip the rest of the plastic off just like that. Look at how beautiful the watch looks just on the box itself. Got some OnePlus branding there on the bottom. A Little bit of information on the back, but let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Give it a little shake. Then we can pull the bottom off just like this. Well, it's a really secure fit. There we go. Look at that. Let me go ahead and pull this out here. I really love the color of the watch strap right here. I really love this green right here. I got a hoodie in this color right here. I got a shirt in this color right here. If there's any green that I like, it is this green right here. And this is the silver model that they sent me here. As you can see, let me go ahead and set this over to the side really quick for now. Let's see what else comes in the box. Let's see, does this come up? This comes up like this. It looks like we got something here on the left, which I believe is the manuals and all that good stuff, the user manual. Yeah, and that is it for that box. And then we have a box over here, which I believe is the charging cable, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so this is the charging cable right here, as you can see, USB type A to USB type C, whoa, and this is the part that actually charges the watch itself. Go ahead and move that over to the side and nothing else in the box. And then we have the watch itself. So I'll go ahead and take this part off right here. And let's see, let's go ahead and take off the plastic around the watch itself. All right, there we go, it's on there really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to rip this off just like that, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Look at how nice that is. All right, so I had to fix my lighting here a little bit just to give you guys a better look. So you can see this better on camera. Look at how nice this watch is. And I really like this design that they went with here on the side. You got the button right here. And I believe, yeah, you can even twist it. And then down here is another button, but it doesn't pop out like that. It's flush with the actual frame of the watch itself. Nothing over here to the left. It's nice and round, but the silver actually looks really nice. It looks like we got a little bit of bezel all the way around the watch. Actually looks really good. Let me take this off, open it up here a little bit. So taking a look at the back of the watch here, it looks like a metal build there in the back. That looks like it's going to be the sensor, the magnets for the charger there, a little bit of one plus branding right there. Let's go ahead and see how this fits. Ooh, look at that. I'm already liking the way it looks on my wrist right here. I don't like when the watches are too small, like. What was it, the, the Google Pixel watch? It was a nice watch, but for me, honestly, it was a little small. And I know I don't have the biggest wrist, but this seems like a perfect size for me here. At least for me, like, I like this size of watch right here. This is a perfect size for me. And look at that. So that is what it's going to look like on the wrist. And of course, you can get other watch straps for this as well. Let's see, does this have any juice? Let's see, let's see. Come on. Okay, there we go. So it does have some juice. I'm gonna let it turn on and uh, that way we can just quickly kind of go through it and see uh, what this watch offers straight out of the box. All right, so the watch is all set up and ready to go as you can see here, at least for the most part. Of course, there are still a few more things that I need to do, but for the most part, it is all set up and ready to go, at least just enough to give you guys my first impressions on this watch right here. And let me tell you, just based off of looks alone, I am loving the look of this watch right here. It doesn't look cheap. It's actually got a nice premium look to it, especially with the, you know, the silver framing all the way around. Now the strap itself, it is a, you know, a silicone strap. So it's not the most premium strap here, but I mean, as far as just the overall look of the watch, I think it looks really, really nice. I really love the design that OnePlus went with here. And now when it comes to just, you know, scrolling through the watch itself, the overall smoothness um, of the watch, I mean, this is like one plus smoothness. Now it is using Google Wear OS, but so far it seems pretty smooth. You know, just based off of my first impressions here, 
Let's see, if I scroll up here, it's giving me notifications. If I scroll down, we've got the quick toggles up here. Let's see, what else? If I go to the left, it's just gonna go to my tiles, which I don't have set up all the way. Like I said, there are still a few more things that I need to do. And then if I uh, push the button down here, this is going to give us some exercise options if we want to use this watch for exercising. As you can see, there are a ton here. Now you will have to download an app on your phone in order to use this, which I have done on my OnePlus 12 there. And that's what helped get this watch all set up. But so far, I am loving the look of this watch. And I believe if I press and hold, I can actually change up the look of the watch face as well. So I can just scroll through them. And of course you can do this on your phone and download a whole lot more watch faces. I really like this first one because it goes with the watch, but let's just change it up to this one real quick. And as you can see, it changes as easy as that, nice and quick. But like I said, overall, as far as first impressions go, I mean, with the unboxing experience, I think the unboxing experience was great. We got everything we need in that box and we got everything we need on this watch right here so far. And I'm hearing a lot of good things about battery life here on the watch. So if y'all wanna see one of my, let's see, I wouldn't say all day battery drain test. It's just a real life battery drain test because I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than a full day, at least from what I've seen and from what I hear, it's gonna be a long battery drain test video. But if y'all wanna see a dedicated video just for that, aside from my full review, just let me know down in the comments. But again, this is the OnePlus Watch 2. Again, huge thanks to OnePlus for sending this out. I'm loving it so far, just based off of my first impressions. This is gonna definitely be my go-to watch for now, especially during this review period. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments sections below. If you have one for yourself, how's it been treating you? If you've been thinking about getting one, what do you think? Thanks for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this watch is going for around 290 bucks, I believe. Um, so y'all let me know if you think that's worth it. Just based off of my impressions, this looks like a watch that can be worth the price. Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.